Hey horror fans, thanks for joining me for this review of The Unholy. Alright, Unholy people here. Um, cast and crew information down below. And uh, let's see what this IMDb plot says to start off with. A hearing impaired girl is visited by the Virgin Mary and can suddenly hear, speak, and heal the sick. As people flock to witness her miracles, terrifying events unfold. Are they the work of the Virgin Mary? Or something much more sinister? Yes. Um, well, obviously, we know the direction this is going. Uh, good question, but we know the direction this is going. Um, I am a big fan of Jeffrey Dean Morgan, so that is basically the, the main reason why I watched this film. Um, you know, I've been a fan of him since um, Supernatural, and, and I don't even know if I remember anything from before that, but um, big fan of his, his character on The Walking Dead and, and several other things I've seen him in. So um, he is, is definitely the, the main reason why I wanted to see this movie. Um, if he wasn't in it, I don't know. I guess it would depend on who else was cast. Um, if not, it might have been just one of these movies that, I, that kind of came, and if I got to see it, I saw it. If not, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's definitely the reason why I was interested in this and turned this on. Um, so just to say to start, I, you know, I think he gives another terrific performance, and, and um, it's, it's great in this movie, and kind of, you know, seems to fit the role, kind of a character that, that you'd kind of expect from him, um, a character that, you know, might not, you know, seem like he cares a whole lot, or maybe he's down on his luck, um, in the beginning, but, uh, then later on, you know, has reason to maybe care again, or, or kind of gets his, his footing there, and, and um, maybe ends up doing some good in, in, in the end. Um, but yeah, that, that's, you know, real quick on him and his character, and, and why I, I even turned this on. Um, you know, sometimes I, I get a little lost in, in movies that are religious, because, um, I don't know, I just don't follow, you know, the, the backstories of, you know, the religious aspects of it. I, I don't, I don't know my, my religion as well. Um, so sometimes I get lost, but I guess this one obviously surrounds the Virgin Mary, um, and, and kind of, you know, maybe if you've, you've seen it in the news, um, uh, you know, where she's supposedly visited this side and that side and here and there, um, you kind of have the case of that here. Um, early in the in the film, as, as it opens, you, you see somebody um, basically getting maybe tortured or killed or, or something in, in that kind of area, and it's obviously taking place in the past. And um, then they fast forward here um, to the present day, um, and you have uh, Jeffrey Dean's character, um, who is uh, Jerry um, he's I guess a reporter or journalist who uh, may have lied in the past maybe done some some not so good um, reporting on something so he's basically stuck uh, kind of chasing stories and trying to make a name for himself again uh, because I guess no no big magazine or, or newspaper will, will hire him. So you, you see him early on talking on the phone about taking a... Tr or trying to make a, a ridiculous story or going um, to visit a guy who says something, you know, maybe um, demonic or, or crazy happened to his cows. So he goes and... Um, it's nothing of the sort. Um, actually, a, a little bit of humor in, in that scene to, to kind of get going. Um, something I can appreciate. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, something I appreciated though. Um, and then in the process, Jeffrey Dean come kind of has this feeling, and he goes over to to this tree, and uh, 
and I think he he, he kind of heard a sound or something, and uh, he looks inside the bottom of it, and there's a there's a hole, and he pulls out a little doll, and um, he mentions something about the reasons the doll is there, or maybe the farmer did, and uh, at the end of the day, he ends up basically cracking it open, and they walk away and think nothing of it. Um, but, yeah, that kind of sets off the, the, the evil in this movie. And a, a young girl named Alice, um, who is, is deaf, um, she surprisingly can hear all of a sudden. And, um, you know, she, she starts having, um, thoughts and visions come to her. And uh, <clears throat> obviously, this is a, a smaller location, smaller town, and um, she is—I believe it. I think he said it was her uncle. Um, this is the local priest, um, and uh, so you know she obviously has a religious background, and, and the, you know being raised by him. So um, you know it kind of follows some religious things, and then. Um, you know, she gets a boy that, that's crippled to stand up and walk for the first time. And I uh, think she, you know, tries to heal a couple other people there. So, of course, these miracles start taking place. Obviously, um, the the Vatican, the bigger churches, have to come in and, and investigate. And, um, you know, see if this is a real miracle, if this is fake. Obviously, Jeffrey Dean's character, Jerry, is involved. So there's a question of um, whether he's making this up, um, you know, what's his role in it. Obviously, then, you know, he has a newspaper contact that uh, becomes more interested in him as this story kind of becomes larger. Um, Alice will kind of only speak with him as far as um, getting any kind of news out there or answer his questions um, and, and talk about what, what's happening with, with her. So, um, you have that kind of going on. Um, and while it's all grand and good, and people think, you know, this, this, a lot of good is happening, obviously there's the evil behind it all. And, um, since this is a brand new movie, I, I don't want to spoil anything here. Um, you know, we'll call it a, a twist, or, I, I don't even know if people will call it a twist, but, um, you know, they're, they're obviously, you know, this is obviously a horror movie, so obviously there's going to be some bad, there's something evil actually taking place um, amongst all this supposed good that's happening. Um, and, yeah, I guess, you know, this is just one of those those movies that they just kind of follow and it is a horror movie, but, um, I don't know, at the end of the day, is it a whole lot scary? Not really... Um, you know, is it a well put together movie? Yeah, the acting is decent as well. Um, but you know, is there a lot of jump scares? Not really. Um, the evil that comes at the end, um, is interesting. Uh, I don't think it's tremendously anything new. Um, you know, and it kind of does her its thing. Um, you know, it, it's hard I, I don't want to I don't want to give it away um you know the, the story is okay I mean it will make sense I think they cover their basis there um with, with what is happening um leads to a little bit of drama at the end um not a, ho a whole lot of deaths in this movie uh, uh, just a, a few of them um nothing over the top and, and too bloody um, but you, you know, you're going to get kind of, um, you know, your, your thing where you get priests involved and, you know, they're going to try to do their thing to save the day and, and is that going to work or not? Um, there's a lot of, you know, kind of drama there that just goes on toward, towards the end. Um, and obviously, you know, uh, a lot of this is this story of redemption for, for Jeffrey Dean's character because, um... You know, he, he was, he's kind of out in the outs and people don't, don't want to give him a job anymore. 
obviously he lands in this situation and you know everybody wants to give him a job um, but then you know as the, you kind of find out that, that things are bad and, and, and there's an evil here that's taking place it's not as good as it seemed to start um, you know it's kind of up to him you know uh, am I just going to walk away and let this happen or, or and maybe you know have a good job or whatever blah blah or um, kind of risk everything in, in the end and, and go back to where um, he's been for the last X amount of years um, so yeah there's just a, a lot of that going on um so yeah, I, I, you know, it's not amazing. Not not a, a must see movie here. Um, you know, I, I, you know, it's a decently like I said, it's a decent story. Everything seems to make sense. Um, not you know, not a whole lot of deaths. Not a whole lot of scares. Um, you know, it is going to lead to a little bit of drama there at the end. Um, you know, Alice is okay in the, in the movie. Um, you know, she, the girl who plays her does, does a good job. I don't think they ask too much of her. Um, the the uncle priest, he, he, might, he might do a little bit more. He's a little bit more of an interesting character. I can't find him there. But um, there's a few other familiar faces you, you'll have seen before in this, in this movie. Um, along for the ride as well. Um, huge twist or not? I don't think it's a huge twist. I, I think you kind of see um, what's going on here as 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 they reveal it. You know, okay, you know, you can see that happening. Um, and obviously, you, you kind of know um, that there's an evil there. There's there's I guess you know like I said, there's not a whole lot of jump scares. I guess there's one or two and then I guess um, Jeffrey Dean has some, some some visions or dreams or nightmares whatever you want to call them and and that kind of fills that in and until um, until you get to the end and, and then whatever um, evil is is happening kind of shows itself um, so with that I you know um, I'm gonna give this one two pools of blood you know n nothing super amazing here um, again watch this one primarily because of Jeffrey Dean who I, I think you know I don't know if you, you kind of want to say that, that you know there's certain roles for him or he plays roles in a certain way and, and certain characters for him um, you know this just seems to fit for him um, and the kind of characters you might expect from him or the way um I don't know. So, uh, you know, if you're looking to watch him in a movie and him do what he does, um, like like I did, I, I think it's fine. Um, I think he's going to give you the performance you expect. Um, you know, and this is not a hard watch or anything like that. It's just, you know, nothing super sticks out about it, nothing super special. Um, you're going to get, you know, you're going to just get another another horror movie. Um, so yeah, with that, two pools of blood, and um, whether that's an unholy rating or not for this, I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, horror score reviews top of spot dot com where you can find um, more reviews, written reviews. Um, you can always subscribe to the channel if you're just interested in the video reviews. But the video reviews are on the on the blog as well. Um, Twitter, Facebook information down below. You can reach out to me there as well. Um, love to talk horror so please follow like and uh, we can talk about this movie other movies whatever you want um, also if you try to reach out um, for me to review something um, you can reach out to me there um, comment in the comment section here as well um, about this video if you want to ask me something there uh, something else there as well um, you know, I can do a re review for you if you want. Uh, if I have to, can squeeze it in. Um, it doesn't have to be a video review if you want a written review or video review, whatever. Um, yeah, and um, with that, I guess it's on to the next review, horror fans.